Dragon Quest Fusion. I would have been surprised if it didn't get more racist. So it's good to know that it um, managed to fulfill my expectations. Cross examining her bullshit. Don't remember exactly. Hmm. Yeah. You were there with him the whole day. Or not the whole day, but... Pathetic there. I think. Let me press here. I think I've got some nice number I can present here. just save here I don't think I really need to but I'll do it anyway because I say they brought you the steak but on this photo he is sitting next to the steak oh no You always know when you get the generic answer you fucked up. I mean, it could have been uh, sedated. Hmm. The Eden steak? YOLO. He did just get it. He could have choked on the tooth. We need his dental records for that. He fucked up again. But. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. 
We're still five strikes left. And I'm sure we already pressed here, but... Maybe if they choke... ...on their tooth. Or choke on food. Oh... <clears throat> I should have pressed first. Dude, stop simping. Uh, remember first case. Oh wait, I, I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to go back one statement. The burn means that he was eating the steak. Why would he burn himself if there was no steak? Uh, where do I press exactly? We'll probably we need to press here anyway. The evidence again. I don't wanna. Wasn't there like you could press something for him? I don't know. I'll take another look at the evidence. Because I thought we kind of... Um, took a good look at that before. Now we have this again. Let me take a look. Like... Because he is sitting next to the steak. It's introducing a new mechanic. Wait, what? What's been bothering me? This is new than a second ago. Yeah. There we go. That's what they were going for. Yeah, so that, that thought cloud did actually matter. This is the whole point why they have two witnesses there at the moment. As so, explains why nothing else worked, even though the logic wasn't fairly sound. So how do I... Ah, oh, there we go. Just listening to what the English owners say it could be a golden opportunity. Yeah, what what market do you mean? What 
What is this space you keep talking about? Excuse me. Because I, I remember seeing this because I watched Worm play the second game a little bit. I don't remember anything of the case, but I do remember constantly switching between witnesses to, to pursue more. Um, <clears throat> but I hadn't seen that game yet, so it truly just wasn't there. Oh, I love the music so far. It's fantastic. I here have with me the updated autopsy report. I'm not a smart associate in Great Britain. One of evidence lacking on my watch. I'm not afraid to take everything I can from the scene of the crime. I'm not sure that's, um... I'm, I'm sure that, I think that's a crime. The bottle of carbonated water. I I don't I don't think it's ever gonna happen, buddy. I'm sorry. Your um <clears throat> your police uh well it's not really the police system, I guess in the future it's mostly the court system that really really sucks. All right, let's see what do we have. Um, thanks, buddy. Uh, what was the way to rotate it again? I'm just dragging it. Don't feel like there's anything in it. Let's just about the label again. Um, let's save here because I'm pretty sure this will work, but you yeah, never freaking know in this game. Um, percent the bottle of water. Uh, wrong button. R.
I mean, the food could have been poisoned. I'm not sure why we're only now going for this. Because that's a whole line of, you know, reasoning we haven't ever pursued. But I'm, as happens more often, they present, they, they make inconsistencies obvious very, very early. And then they just ignore it for the whole case until right at the end. Yeah, it's a tutorial case, I know, but it's so... It's frustrating. Sorry, ouchy is not a pun. I'm mean, not sure what Kazuma could be referring to, but I'm probably just stupid. But Brett, because she's a brat, get it? But but spelled differently. <laughs> hey, that's I like that it's different. I I kind of wish they voice acted him. Um. That would have been perfect. Her name is a reference, not a pun. It can be both, but what would it be a reference to? Some old murder mystery? Inferior. But no matter how inferior they may be, still investigated this particular point thoroughly. He did not. Oh, damn it, he did. But it could be for it's French. It could be French poison. What if he's in on it as well? Is there one last thing that you can add? Oh, yeah, then, then well, we can explain it later. You? I thought we had to, like, present some... Like, we've had before where they asked, like, is there anything else? And then you have to kind of, like, bring something in from the left field. I didn't expect her. Implication that, like, well, we'll, 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 we'll see later at the end. So, Sato Mikotoba... Oh, damn it, he's falling for him. Let me guess, it's the pistol. That's the one, like, murder... Because the murder weapon is all... Oh, come on. The murder weapon is usually something that gets admitted quite early in the cases, but... It's been inconspicuously left out. All right, part three. And a woman, no less. <laughs> Good, he's not only uh, racist, uh, he's also sexist.
Just hills. Oh, it's it must. Was she? What kind of medicine was she again? Yeah, it's a medical facility, but was it like poisons? It's gonna be about poisons only found in France or something. Experiment with the curare and its effects on human subjects. Hmm, could this thing you just gave give to us be any of use? Well, of course it of course it is. Poison made of bark from certain trees in the jungles of South America. The hunters of the reason have used this in ancient times to encapsulate and prey. Instant paralysis and subsequent death. The above mentioned effects occur when the poison enters the body through a wound, such as that inflicted by a blowpipe dart. Merely to render the human body paralytic, it is believed that a toxin could have application as an anesthetic. However, a solution for the respiratory arrest caused as a result of full body problems must first be found, or the patient would die of suffocation. But then, we're probably going to have to prove that he got wounded somewhere, but she Unyielding stare of a Japanese warrior. He looks like a twig. That's not how that works. Is she going to be horribly racist again? You're very bad at reading context clues, are you? Council. Hmm. Fine. No, I know it's just that like you're you're a student. To be fair, I think this would be hearsay. It's not like it's just a coincidence. Something something correlation is not causation. But I'm sure those some stupid route they're going to. Because it's South American. But how would she know this? It feels extremely coincidental that um, there would be no test for this. Or, you know, she could have studied that and then chosen explicitly a poison not available here. But then, why is she studying? No, she's studying it because it's medical application. It feels a bit stupid to kill someone and then have notes on the poison. Maybe she forgot. Maybe she did it accidentally. She's too much of a brat for that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it makes sense she would be studying it, but it's like, don't kill people with something you're researching. It was like, if I were to, I don't know, try to poison fake meat, and then I have research notes, like lab notes full of plant protein crap.
No, because it's perilous. No, no, I mean, of course I understand, but from from her perspective, <clears throat> dude, you read the goddamn notes. Yeah. That was like, from the police perspective, it makes sense, but from the, the, from her perspective, like, heal someone with the poison you're researching. But I guess that, you know, a woman is capable of such a barbaric acts. And that's how they could have burned himself, or he, how he could have burned himself. He probably choked on his food. If that turns out to be nothing, I'm going to be very annoyed. So if you do what they never implied that the idea of some poison that doesn't even exist in the great empire of japan is breaking the rules indeed because for something to exist it you know um, this man is lacking object permanence. The moment it is outside of Japan, it just doesn't exist. Excuse me, Your Excellency. Uh, she's going to drink from it. Yeah. But it's going to be, you could have administered a difference, so now we're probably going to go to the food. She could have taken the antitoxin before. She's been slowly injecting herself with the uh, the toxin for years now to build up immunity. Husband, has poison been mentioned before? I mean, it could have been a throwaway line that I kind of ignored. Could 
contains no poison. What? I mean, I mean, it could have been she never toasted. Oh, because the witness said he, she never saw the toasting before. It's in her bag. Is it wet? Oh, via wound. I read over this. I don't know why I suddenly forgot this. I was like. It's in a foreign language, therefore it is garbage. Um, what is it called? Just to double check. Special characteristics, right? Yeah. But then, of course, we need to then prove how it could have entered his body. What? <laughs> Why is it alive? Damn English people, they're weird. No, I'm still an idiot. Um, that's... It's... I mean, she's not wrong. It is schoolboy's logic. Gastric suckers. Something in the stomach. Ah, uh, the fatal flaw in your logic.
I don't know, lady, I'm not that good with logic. I was right, like, wait, does this turn up into a beat em up? You can't just call women your prey, Rhinos, okay? That's not okay. I know this is the 1890s, but good grief. Why would he have been killed? I... Just had it? What do you mean? I really dislike we don't have the gun because I keep not thinking of that. Um, do you want to know? I mean, it's either of these two. It's probably... probably just my, it's... I mean, I'm still confused by this. I, I, there's neither of those two. There is no gun, so that's why. The nothing enters the bloodstream through a burn. It completely. I mean, it, it scars the tissue. The bloody knife. No, he didn't drink it. Technically, I mean, what was the dental work again? For some reason, when I think of when I thought of dental work, I thought of just tooth work, which doesn't open up a wound. But uh, <clears throat> no, he had a tooth removed, which would leave an open wound. So I didn't. I didn't imagine shitty. Um, Japanese dentistry. What is he going to do? I store some.
This is really stupid. Very unsubtle. Very accidental, Bass. You know, a lady might just slip. <laughs> Very subtle. Are they gonna do the good old ice save? Some other water. We'll have your stomach pumped. Oh wait, we don't have the technology. Wait. The, he was sitting with his back to you. But why would he be sitting with the back to you? No, no, Baz. The, the bottle is gone now. It has left our collective conscience, so it, we cannot consider that at all anymore. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that Ace Attorney games are very often extremely nonsensical? See, also, it wasn't a goose, it was a swan. Every color, every smell. Is it the steak? Finally, is it the steak? Why is there blood there? I thought I just couldn't eat. Nah, nothing. <laughs> it's so dumb. I mean, I know it's a new kind of court system, but um, I'm pretty sure destruction of evidence, which is obstruction of justice, is quite significant. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's trying to sabotage it. Um, because she probably has some kind of stake in that for it to explode. I like how how the prosecutor keeps being, you know, just just um, told to shut up by the fucking witness, um, as opposed to the well, more strong-willed ones you had later on in the previous game, previous one we played, uh, Ace Attorney Two. That was blood. It didn't go through him.
Is it him coughing up the blood or something? Oh my... <laughs> it's... <laughs> just... He just... He just wanted to have the dinner himself. <laughs> it's so stupid! <laughs> Here's this cold ass steak. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I just imagine five people standing over a cold plate of half eaten steak. Let me guess, this one isn't actually gonna be touched. Just like, oh, this isn't the right steak, or I don't fucking know. No, it's actually been eaten. There's no blood. I mean, it's it's a massive discrepancy. There's a photo taken right after the the, the scene, untouched, but there's miss something missing here. I mean, we have photographic evidence. Freaking swan. Um, we actually have two photos. So we have this one here, where it's partially eaten, but no blood stain, And this one is untouched. With also no blood stain. Wait. Oh, I thought there was actually like a stain visible here, but there's nothing. It's so dumb. So stupid. He was just very hungry, that's why he took the steak home. Examine. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Not the, this is not a hearse steak, this is a steak from the other guy. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not the first one who's been talking. The, the, the investigator, the, the, old, the old guy. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and I know this is mad, I just want to get the contents. Okay. Wait, so do we need to do it again or something? Like, okay, I get it. And like take it out or something? Oh, he just said this isn't the first time, yeah. Can I lift it more or something? No.
Really? Because that would be impressive. Yes. There is another clue. Now we'll probably have to show it up, show it again, actually. Stop trying to bring politics into it, goddammit. Yeah. Um, oh, there we go, percents. Nani? You, you, this is the first lawyer job you've ever had. <clears throat> the owner? Who could the owner be? Very subtle that they put that in the description. She ain't wrong. He accidentally lost it underneath the meat. I mean, sure. This is all so dumb. It's impressive, really. And now there's four people on the stand. You've ruined men that try a worthless withered antique. Beefsteak and its plate. Honestly, I can believe it actually went there by accident.
Please, you're the one who's supposed to serve this. How the hell could it have ended up there? Yes, we know. A run of similarly executed thefts. I have a good idea, but I never freaking know. Who's the only person that was near? It's this guy, right? I mean, I think they've mentioned that he frequented the place, but... Um, what was her? Like, I know it's going to be stupid, and I'm like, why the hell would he steal? I mean, she, because she's despicable. <laughs> it must have been her. Didn't help that I played half of this, like, a week ago. I mean... So, they were... I mean, the position in the room doesn't really matter. I think he was trying to sell it to him. Um, and then he lost the coin somewhere. I don't think they... I think he mentioned that it may have fallen on the ground. And then um, he was busy on the ground looking for it. So assuming that it rolled over to the other table, it could have been either of these two. He wouldn't have been eating, so... It, must be her. But I'm probably wrong. But it was falling on the floor. What? Wow, how rude. I don't know. If I... The question, of course, is how could the stakes have uh, gone flipped? I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, the kid was on the floor. But how the fuck would the coin end up on the stake? This is it's so stupid. This is so dumb. The fuck is this ratatouille? Please, kid, speak like a grown man. That would be really funny. Do it. This is so dumb. No, sorry, my thoughts didn't go to the baby. It. <laughs> Put a hop me on the table for your... Ah yes, I have too little money to go around so I go to a high-end restaurant and buy steak. I don't know. 
I mean, the whole thing that there was a stake right next to his body has been confusing me, but I guess that they moved the chair very far back. It, it makes no fucking sense. Yeah, sorry, I can't make full stops with, uh, with noise. <laughs> it's a very nice smack. Of course he's allowed to leave. He's British. It's been going like this the whole time. Yes, you are fine to leave. Just ignore all the other evidence that... uh. Uh, still lying around. I think a coin under a lump of meat. The sheer nonsense astounds me. You stake money without using a knife and a fork. Hmm. I mean, there's a fork there. But there's a knife and a fork. The photograph. See, I, I hate this whole steak business because it keeps flicking around the table. They were both eating, but he can't eat. And they've just been ignoring this fact the whole fucking time. And he's always ambiguous about who he brings food. What a broad goddamn statement. This is so stupid. I hate it all. <laughs> the man wasn't allowed to eat a fucking thing. Yeah, I kind of want to eat steak as well, but it's 11, so uh, I'm not going to. I also don't even have steak here.
the evidence that proves once and for all who shot Dr. Wilson that day. To be fair, she's not wrong. Because no one knows seems what the fuck conclusive evidence is in this whole court case. <laughs> From any side. Dude, there has been new evidence introduced. At least five times in this whole goddamn case. Shut up. I have no fucking clue, man. Are they asking the waiter to present the steak that the doctor was eating, which doesn't exist? Does he possess the gun? It's all fucking dumb. I don't fucking know. Probably wrong. I mean, I think it's his blood that was on the stake. Stakes, yeah, I... Why didn't it stink at all? I mean, if it was swapped with her steak... I mean, I kind of assumed it was his steak already. Anyway, well, we'll see. I mean, I, I knew something was up with that. A long fucking time ago, but... Oh, we'll see. I'm sure it would have been unstable. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Are we going to suggest... Are we going to suggest that the guy who couldn't eat all day ate a steak... Ugh. Uh. If we were trying to see that he she shot him, the only one is the bloody steak. Wait. Why would why would they investigate the slab of meat? <laughs> so you just decided to end the crime scene walk. Oh my god! And no one noticed that this. They but no, um, I I don't I shouldn't think about this. Of course he did. T of course he took every steak, which is what my guess would have been for the. the I mean, my guess was right. So then there must be blood on his plate. Please tell me. Please tell me you brought every steak with you. So, the poison's been on the stake all along, or in it? I don't fucking know. Honestly, I've I've totally lost track of what we're actually arguing here.
I mean, yeah, the blood, but what the fuck does the blood mean? That they were shot from the other side? I don't know. I was shot from the front. But did he get turned around? I'm. I don't know much about getting shot, but would a shot with a small caliber bullet splatter blood everyone? And turn around to better implicate you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I see what you're going for. Um, and it is the inspector. You killed the swan! It's not okay! He merely fainted. Good. <laughs> Was that a check? Um... This seems like animal cruelty to me. That's adorable. <laughs> I briefly lost my composure. It has no bearing on my guilt. Or my supposed guilt. This was a, a massive clue the whole fucking time. We just ignored it, but whatever. Honey, you would have been spotted by the waitstaff Everyone else in the restaurant. What? What are you talking about? Wait. Sorry. Could you could you go back a second here? The bottle of Carrara in my handbag. But... What do you mean? The bottle was... Oh my fucking god. Did you, did you just shoot me? No one noticed her darting around the guy, making sure he didn't fall over and taking his gun. Like, I know they don't have forensics to check rifling and crap, but I'm sure 
they could have checked if it had been fired because it never was fired that should have been a trivial thing to check like i don't know a spent casing gunpowder but i guess poor forensic science some bullshit <laughs> what a fucking shitty case i hate this so much it's not about who are they going to believe but it's just like this gun wasn't used the fire wasn't fired like <sighs> Mr. Police guy here would have should have been able to tell if a gun was fired do they think they fair point That is also like, how would his chair have turned around? I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. What is this boat and gun combination? Yes, it's exactly. It's like, I don't fucking get it. This whole case has been bursting at the seams from the get-go. But none of it we could have pointed out. It had to follow this asinine trajectory through utter nonsense. Like, just from the two photos we were shown, just from the one, we could have shown something's not right here. You cannot conclusively say that he murdered him. And then in the presumption of innocence, you know, uh, innocent until proven guilty, um, he, he gets dismissed for a lack of evidence. But it's just, I hate it. The fact, like, she's trying, you know, they're, they're, you know, she, she will, um, I don't fucking know, man. Like, I, I get that they never submitted the gun. Because it isn't relevant for the way they were trying to solve it, but it's so perfect. Fuck, tell me. I, like, I don't know if that was a thing in British um, law back then. We need um, Euristo to help us here. The fact that forensic is bad. Yeah, but it's like. It's like comically bad. Like, frustrated, like, the gameplay suffers because of this bullshit. I hate it all. Yeah, mostly embarrass yourself, buddy. Step aside, old man. Now here, end your pathetic life with that. I'm pretty sure that's assault. Actually, not a burn. I'm, I'm very sure that's <laughs> assault. <laughs> this is a farce. <laughs> Fucking kangaroo court. The use of evidence and deduction to unravel the truth is a modern methodology. After all, we have not been thinking before this. Oh my god. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> Don't worry, Judge. Nothing's gonna fucking change in the next 200 years oh my god yeah <laughs> oh this is painful unusual potential Uh, can I get a lawyer's badge? You want to, I want to flaunt it around. Not 
guilty. It's a bit of a shame because in in the original game or the original in the, in the first two A's attorney, um, you would get the guilty verdict every once in a while, which I've kind of missed. If you fucked up, that is. Surprisingly, the future cases are less crazy, probably because racism. Of course, an English woman, so she's only she would concoct such devilish um, methodology. Could he not have done that, like, a little bit earlier? No, no, they actually, Jimmy, yeah, they do say that. It's disgusting that a Japanese woman was allowed into this courtroom. The whole case should have been dismissed and redone. Now it does not matter, for he is dead. I'm sorry, culture? Are you sure about that? I mean, yes, you've already been arrested. You should already be arrested for bantery anyway. Probably deported. Guess who is scot free? Ha! <laughs> of course not. Trying to avoid political. Uh... Shanghai? Yeah. Technically, it would be the Brits, yeah. What, is she like the daughter of some high-wrecking politician? What was the motive, though? I don't think we've ever heard anything about it. Hey there, Nyx. Uh-huh, very seriously. The last case of Jesus Christ. Really? That's cruel. Oh, because we're going to Britain, and then we're going to be again trying her or something stupid, like in another murder case. And of course we go, you have murdered before! And she goes, I don't know what you're talking about. It was never, never proven.
Still the blood. What's wrong with that? Dude, you should get the checks out. The, the thing is, Vomer, they wouldn't it wouldn't be wrong. Foreshadowing. Why would why would I be a lawyer? He was horrendously incompetent. But Baz, channel points. Of course, you don't even launch the law. That was very easily proven. To believe. Your own bullshit and never believe theirs. It's about the highlights. Oh, I didn't get any of that. I don't, you mean, you see what I see, so. No, no, I'm pretty sure it was through complete bullshit. I I don't, like... If this was the only, like... I'm, I'm playing more of it, because I know that these games can be good. But is it if this all that I ever would see from an Ace Attorney game? Jeez, that's rough. Go with me to um, Britain. I, I like that, but it wasn't an easy cakewalk because it was bullshit. That's kind of... I, I have an issue with it. Like, I appreciate that it's more difficult, but it's like... No, it wasn't a good difficult. It was a very, very bad difficult. Yeah, it was... Like... The other games had very blatant obstruction of justice, but it was always done... Outside of the courtroom. Here it's like, Lady takes the bottle, breaks it, and everyone just like, like forgets about that. <laughs> and that's the end of chapter one. I just read a ping in, in Jake's cord about uh the um the citizen lines in, in Caesar three. Some metal reasoning. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there is. Um, about someone unable to decipher chuchut, um, apparently. I've always wanted to know what kakut means. I presume this is the accurate way to type it. <laughs> it's great. Oh, this is fantastic. And of course, Avenue immediately deduces that it's Dutch. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. He writes Sluber in a very German way with an S-C-H. You should have hit Andarius pronounced Gouda. Oh, God. Um... Of course. Um, who mentioned? Yeah, Goose about my amazing Capsulon lines.
One second. Wait, you can't go on? <laughs> you can just immediately go. Um, to case five. That's that. Wait, the Hound of the Baskervilles? What? That's that's a Sherlock Holmes story. The Clouded Kokoro. I, I'm not sure. The Runaway Room. The Unbreakable Speckled Band. It could be. I didn't read much Holmes. I've I've actually. I mean. I apparently, I, I did read Hound of the Baskervilles, but I think it's like one of the only one or ones uh, that I've ever read. Also, it's um, part of the modern modern Holmes series, um, which is why I would would recognize it a bit more. I just see, saw your 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 post, Baz. That's really weird. I mean, it, it might not be in this version yet, but uh, that makes no sense. Stephen Fry's absolutely fantastic audiobook of the Underbreed series. It's still there. That's really dumb. One second, I want to check something. Um, I will. I will start the other case today. Don't worry. Uh, it's involved. It probably will. Oh, here we go. Sherlock Holmes: The Definitive Collection by Stephen Fry and Arthur Conan Doyle. But Stephen Fry only did the introductions, not the actual narration. I'm looking on Audible right now because I listen to to audiobooks there uh, quite frequently. Stephen Fry, uh, maybe I should like. I'll only find one that he did the introduction for. Um, but that is six books. But there's also like, there's multiples in another one. No. Makes no freaking sense. Oh no, no, sorry. Narrated by Stephen Fry. That's the one. 72 hours. Good God. Yeah, the by wasn't the narrator, but it was who wrote it. Yeah. Anyway, let's. Okay, now I need a stiff freaking drink. Um. BRB. Thankfully, to get me through the most perilous of games, have some 
just grab the last bit of one of my favorite whiskeys, Bowmore 12 year old. I really need to order some more because I uh, apparently only had a fairly small bottle and I really, really like it. Although, I have a small bottle of the 15 and the 18 year old. Should try them and see if I might order that instead of the 12. Anyway, time for snake adventures. ホームズと私は息を潜めてまいりました。ショーンズ。やがて通気口から収集と低くうなるような音が聞こえてきた。その瞬間、突然ホームズが飛び出して闇の一点をステッキでするどく打ち据えた。見たかワトソン。ホーム
try to frame someone else other than me. And now you're big, criminal. Oh, did we murder Kazuma? Are we going to take his identity and become the, the student visiting person instead of him? You know, if there's one thing that I would trust less... And then British or Japanese forensics. It's Russian forensics. Don't worry. I was just doing a special military operation. I was jealous of him my whole life. <clears throat> I mean, can you really blame him? You're a moron, Kazuma. Oh, by the way, Professor, I've dragged over my friend from England. Would you mind um, paying his room and board um, for the next few years? Um, also, he, he's, a, he's not a law student, so maybe you can find something to do as well. <laughs> exactly it's like you should, please ignore the man that I stowed away don't worry about it why is she with us Why would it matter if, well, I guess they would, yeah, but, jeez. Yes, let me write keep out in Japanese. Um, so that the, the Russian cleaner can, what? Buddy, none of this makes sense. Yes, that door totally doesn't look forced. Unless they broke it to get in. Could have been. I mean, how would he have gotten himself in 
stuck the thing on and then be be in there. Wait, are you implying that intro about a snake wasn't a complete farce? That's sus. I like how we already have a chord record button. The paper seal. We? I hate that they just ignore motive all the fucking time. You must have killed your best friend. Why would you do this? I don't fucking know, but you must have done it. So no idea what this word is yet. All the extremely lacking. What evidence? You were locked inside a door that was technically locked from the outside. How could you have done it? Wait, sorry, it's, I find it very hard to believe that you must be innocent, but you can believe that I murdered my best friend? Good question. Oh, I guess that she, yeah, no, it makes sense that she would have been more um, familiar with him. Your, oh my god. Your friend says, by the way, want to go to England with me for half a year? Sure, why not? God, you're a moron. I know he, the plot needs to be set up somehow, but it's so frustrating. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, though. Well, now, now he can't anymore. Look, I know it sounds weird, but I'm paid to think, technically. So, um...
He was planning his own suicide to intentionally get me to replace him and become the lawyer he always dreamed of being. I paid not to think about inconveniencing, like, I don't know, financial exploitation of the poor? Or as I'm just, you know, injecting soy with estrogen all day. We literally had a case where a man was murdered in a busy restaurant. A restaurant with at least four other people present and no one noticed except the murderer. What's the fucking word mean? I want to know. Only I could read Russian. I actually started to learn uh, a long, long time ago. I was practicing regularly, but it kind of, <laughs> kind of fell out of practice. I still get emails from Duolingo about it, and I very much ignore those. I might should pick it back up again. Then I can make mad dollar by being one of the few people crazy enough to work in Russia. I'm sure they'll let me as the primary suspect walk around. Is she assaulting me? S <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a bit sus. I don't, I don't like this. Could you flip me back around? <laughs> Judo chop, Judo chop. What is this, Austin Powers? I mean, you could have, like, tactfully rigged it so that when you close the doors, it sticks to them p perfectly, and you plant the solid head, maybe? Get up yourself, coward. Conjure. Do you see me as a conjurer of cheap tricks? Time for investigation tutorial. Uh, B. No, wait, that's not the right one. Side of the Sea God, you mean Poseidon?
Don't don't touch the touching evidence, you moron. Rules of Passage. Hats are strictly forbidden. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but it is not true, I see. The Kurimi will ask the investigator for information about his crime. Very funny. I'm not going to try and do an accent that's going to fail horribly. Make silence. Can you really look at those characters without feeling shame? So quick to assume guilt. I'm sure no one would bat an eye at an Englishman walking around with a pet Japanese schoolboy in London. <laughs> Depending on how I'm dressed up, this could be very well true. Have you sleep? Can't remember. It must have been a booze-filled rage. I mean, true, there's no sign of a struggle at all. Oh, it was like laced with a... Um Sedative. <laughs> God, I'm so, so stupid. Yeah, it was laced with a sedative, and that made you fall asleep so heavily. Um, and then the snake was meant to kill him in his sleep. Uh, that didn't happen. So there was some sort of a struggle. What's that? Looks like a bell? It'll be relevant, I'm sure, later. <laughs> the Natsuke fast from a kimono outfit. Some brick like you. Hmm. Could be inside of it. Mass stabbing in this air. Um, Jack the Ripper. Middle of writing it. You're... you're stupid. All of you are... very dumb.
He keeps turning up in Southeast Asian and Middle Eastern games. But he's written from the UK. I mean, of course, if you remember the very historically accurate anime uh, Jojo, uh, you would know that a lot of knife crime was happening in London. Wait, that's not Japanese. Well, later on, a more of vampires, but uh, plain old criminals and um, speed wagon before that. Did did no one bother to ask the goddamn Russian right there what it might mean? Can we talk to him again to find the word out? No, we cannot. What do you mean it's odd to have fresh air? Wait, what the where the hell did you come from? I like how he's very weirdly put on like a 2D background. <laughs> Just ignore him, he'll go away. Of course, that's Sean's. I'm just going to ignore him for a bit. Living in there. bell cord contraption <laughs> oh my god you're all idiots I think there was everything Fine, let's talk to him.
<laughs> in Afghanistan? What? Is he a moron? <laughs> Oh, the deuce did I know that? Most elementary, my dear Watson. Uh, Wilson, sorry. The running theory is fucking with you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if he has the same um, condescending tone towards Japanese people than our, as our dear lady Brat, it would explain a lot. You have fled your native land of Russia, being as you are, a merciless revolutionary. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Bolshevik. You 16 victim assassination travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. Has the Crystal Palace been built at this point? I think it may have been. But Ruben occupant of the very cabin discovers you were in the end of his life, too. There are a bunch of Russians of Asian descent. Yeah, of course. It turns out most of Russia is in Asia, but I'm pretty sure that um, I look a bit Japanese. You might find a Japanese, Russian, in Manchuria. Yeah, but I mean, even then, I imagine that it would they would look quite different to a native Japanese person. That said, I might be wrong. I don't know how much <laughs> mixing, very crudely said, uh, there was before, but I don't think there was a ton. Maybe some people from Japan to Korea to Manchuria? Stop assaulting me! God damn it! I can't believe it. You, a Japanese scholar. <laughs> Of course, I grew up in Russia, was taught the Bolshevik ways, and I went to Japan to defend myself from this heinous accusation. I murdered 16 people on the way, and uh, now I'm on the way to uh, blow up the Crystal Tower. <laughs> what do you think of that? You're full of shit. Greatest detective of the century, known to men and women the world over, the imitable Herlock Sholmes. I hate it so much. What's the point? Like, no one's, no one's fooled by Herlock Sholmes. Just call him Sherlock Holmes. Like, He's in the public domain, and even if he wasn't, no one is going to be fooled by this. It's so stupid. It would be funnier if there actually is a Sherlock Holmes, and he's just a copycat. But evidently not. Or maybe everyone just keeps confusing the two, because they're so similar.
There's no, that's. I hate it. No, sorry, I want to present it. What do you think about this? I do believe these characters may be a crude attempt at a. <laughs> Wait, it was done by the translation team? It's just... What the fuck? What, why? That is... Like, narratively, it doesn't change a lot, but it makes everything so nonsensical. Why would they do this? I hate it so much. Like, it, it would have been funnier if, if it was like, I'm Sherlock Holmes and I'm an incompetent ass, as opposed to, like, um, literarily speaking, changing his name indicates you're, you're, you're not actually trying to refer to the literal Sherlock Holmes, but you're making a facsimile of him. And I feel that loses comedic value as opposed to implying that this is actually Sherlock Holmes. And not some facsimile. Your German hair look. I, I mean, I, I don't... Well, I would have expected you to if they would have mentioned it. But I think someone just found it very funny in the translation team. And I hate them for it. Your inference is backward. You reach your greatest detective achievements in Chronicles in the magazine. Like, is it also Dr. Watson in the original Japanese then, and not Dr. Wilson? I mean, I, I imagine it's not. Where's the hand? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Fingernails, arm sleeve, furrows in the skin. Running through your show is actually worth to see comments since the entire game's fucking with you during I mean it would be entirely hilarious for uh, a Brit to toy with the poor little un uncultured Japanese. I would do it. I wanna say I toy with the Malaysian colleagues by calling them Chinese, but um she regularly converses with our Chinese colleague in Chinese as well, so I don't think it would be that insulting, but I'm also not going to do it, because it's horrendously rude. I mean, he does not... The great Shom does not care if one puny Japanese man got thrown in prison. For him, it is simply another solved case. Two facts. One, Kazuma was dead, and two, 
he wrote something in Russian. Of course, getting a man thrown in prison for the rest of his lies is merely toying. Locked from within, yes. The <laughs> Flawless. Wardrobe. Because they knew that I could solve his murder. Gardero might be the name of the killer, a certain Robert Guard. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> no, I love it. This guy's obviously fucking with us. <laughs> Cause it's it's so obvious bullshit. Uh. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Despite his insane theories, always managed to pick up the most important in recent direction, the correct direction. Uh. <laughs> Because it could have been that he was halfway through finishing up a message and that he died earlier than he thought he would. But oh, the katana, of course, the tra traditional Russian weapon, um, was lying right next to the other evidence, a half-empty bottle of vodka. The fearless revolutionary from Russia, my boy. Correcto. He's Russian, he's a blackout drunk. <laughs> Revolutionary villain Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Port called Shanghai yesterday and last night a young Russian was murdered. The culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. Kill the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. You villain Bolshevik. <laughs> I mean, I can see the resemblance. Now, if it was constantly blackout drunk, sea fusion, he would be Scottish. You know, learn to revolutionize your appearance as well. <laughs> I like that I wrote revolutionize not with a Z, as I would do in America. No, 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 no. You, you must be the revolutionary.
Like, is Borshevik meant to be a player like Bolshevik? I I imagine it must be. <laughs> I guess from Afghanistan to Shanghai. Subver Subversive activities in war regions region of Afghanistan. When would Russia do anything, or the Soviets, do anything in Afghanistan? <laughs> Thank you. I uh, know they they would not become the Soviet Union until after the revolution and uh, during World War One. His English given name villain is likely a villain, somewhat popular Soviet area Russian masculine given name, being a contraction of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin initials. This English surname Bolshevik is a reference to the Bolsheviks. Yeah. I see. The villain Bolshevik. But yeah, no, the, the Whites only defeated the Reds during World War One, which is why Russia, well, one of the reasons why Russia, Russia retreated um, from that war, after which they fell and the Soviets rose to power, creating the uh, Soviet Union. Um... Who could that be? It's a pretty woman. You enjoy articles showing off the naked shoulders. What a slut. The disappearance. Renowned prima ballerina of the Novavich Ballet disappears from Shanghai. Performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer went missing. Nikolina Pavlova. The woman was in costume when she was found to be missing. The diamond tiara, you see, picture was worth than 20,000 rubles. So that's like what? 20 guilders at this point? And now I'm now I'm hungry for some steak with Pavlova. No, oh, the Pavlova for for dessert, not at the same time. Stop flirting with a picture. It wasn't super scandalous for women to have exposed shoulders and even nip slips. Really? I'm never winning, son. Never pouring gasoline on the fire with the fake Russian accent. I do not know what you could be talking about. Kazuma, the traditional Russian name. London Dairy. No, wait, that's Ireland. London Dairy. Diary. Same thing. He has no such considerations for people, their private thoughts. All of a sudden, the last one, I have to know where the Satsuka takedown is. Oh, nice, she's gaslighting me.
London dairy. You think it's poured milk on the... Look, I don't know what Russian traditions you might hold. Sayonara, bonsai, mikado, nado, nado. <laughs> so, why is he... <laughs> I mean, he thinks he's impressing a Russian with this, so can't blame him. <laughs> I mean, of course, he's British. It's a given that he is mega racist. The first reads, 123, I can hear a faint whistling sound. That could be air coming through the vent. Second sentence reads... What looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. What could that be? I mean, it's in the Japanese blood to be mega racist, so it's... They're in their element. I don't think the original... I've only, I didn't play Ace Attorney 3. I don't think the first two had foreigners. I don't think so. Filthy, guilty foreigners. Oh yeah, sorry, you're right. It was set in LA. You're, you're entirely correct. And as we all know, Americans are never racist. Can go with you. Of course, you must not keep the criminal out of sight. They're really getting their use out of that model. Why am I in cuffs then? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's gaslighting us. I wouldn't know. Not the face of a criminal. Merely a villain. You cannot be the villain, for you are not merely accepting your role in a trivial manner. <laughs> the dude's having a time of his life! Now this is great, I love it. He just doesn't care! He just... I mean, he's just gaslighting us the entire time. Obviously, you are this very old-looking Bolshevik. No, he's literally implying to get rid of his cuffs.
<laughs> Is he gonna keep playing dress up the whole goddamn game? Is this like coughing ever gonna be explained? Is this dude gonna die from a lung like infection or something? What are you talking about? I am not Inspector Hodosaga. <laughs> Special orders. I mean, if a Japanese man can go undercover among Russian crew, I'm very impressed. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. This is so horrendously dumb. I love it. Like, none of this makes any sense. It's fantastic. Do, 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 do. Music's also quite good. I like it. Anyway, that was really dumb. That's going to be it for me for today. Um, I mean, it was a bit frustrating. Like, I like the presentation of the start of this case, but the previous one was just frustratingly moronic. Like, excessively so. Um... What is the more tomorrow? It's going to be your your Patreon game. Um, what I wanted to say there is that I'll be I'll be going for a hike during the afternoon, and I'm not sure when I'll be back. And then I might stream after, but I also have to do some other things. Um, so we'll see how it works out. And then in the evening, I'll be doing Neo. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. And I wish you a pleasant rest of your day, morning, or afternoon. Cheers. <laughs>